Hi guys, I'm going to show you a quick guide or tutorial on how to make your animations a bit more smooth with Bubble. See, with Bubble, their animations through collapsing and sliding and all that stuff is a little bit uh, glitchy, chompy. Um, so, what we're going to do is just incorporate a way to make it a little bit less chompy and just to make it a little bit more smooth. So, first off, we'll start off with a group in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my basic things and get rid of um, some ugly styling here and then actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create an, an uh, individual page and I'll call this tip uh, better animation all right we'll just do smooth app uh, uh, smooth animation So what we're going to want to do is just have a group and this is going to be a little tricky because the way that we're going to set it up has a little bit of a step involved, but uh, let's just go ahead and do it. So back background is dark. Give this a fixed width. Um, let's just, it doesn't really matter. Nothing here matters, but I'm just going to make this styled a little bit so it looks good and, you know. Uh, we can just go from there. So, flat color, we'll give it a little bit, make sure it's not fully white, solid border. What I'm doing right now is just adding time to that YouTube video. Just kidding, but not really at the same time. Um, all right, so now we're going to add another group in here. And this is what we're going to uh, have as uh, the hiding animation. So, I'll show you the basic way of doing it. So, we're going to add a text in here. We'll have it, uh, this is a hidden hex area. And then um, I'll, on the top, what I'll do is I'll do the toggler. So toggle text area. And then um, what I'll do is I'll collapse this. And we're gonna give this just a little bit of um, a color so we can see what we're doing. And um, let's go ahead and just also give it a little bit of padding in here. Now that we got some padding, let's go ahead and make sure that this is um, also toggled. So let's set an action here to toggle it. And then it's going to be group J or group B or something like that. Yeah. And now let's go ahead and preview this. And that's just basic. You know, hides it, shows it, no problem. So now let's add animation to it. Let's make it look a little bit better, right? So um, overall, let's uh, just give it some padding here. And then um, this, when it's collapsed here, so we we'll may get collapse when hidden. And then we're also gonna wanna add some text under here. This text is always visible. So this is gonna demonstrate that choppiness. So in this group, we will go ahead and make sure that it's hidden on page load. And then we animate the collapse step, uh, operation. We'll do slide up and down. We can do fade in, left, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Either way, this is where the problem lies. This is where Bubble's issue is, is the animation style. So go ahead and see how this looks. This text is always visible and then we can toggle it. So that's one way we can do it. And the other way would be adding, um, we'll create our own toggle. So what we'll do is we'll make a new state called toggle fac or toggle collapse and this will be a use or it'll be a valid or yes or no and then it'll be a default no and what we'll do is make it so this will set the state of that what is a group a 
toggle claps. There's no. And then I usually make these green to show that I'm using it as an on. I'll copy and paste that and I'll make that yes. Now we want to add a state for group D or group A, toggle claps, and yes. And here, toggle class, no. This will be red. Okay, so now what we want to do is when this is visible, when the collapse is yes. Well, um, I should, I, I'm going to change that actually. It's going to be, um, this element is visible. Copy this and then go to the group itself. Put it on the group. And then I'm going to change this uh, state to collapse shown or uh, item shown. It'll be easier just in terms of wording. And then, yeah, I believe that's it. Now we can do the same thing. We made a toggle. And see the animation is still pretty chompy. So now this is where some ideas come in hand. And you know, we could, you know, use a plugin to do this or, um, yeah, I mean, there's really just a plug-in, or you could use their built-in animations uh, when you click it, but that that's just, like, really, it's not the best way to do it, because the one, when you do the actual animations from the event itself, you're doing page-styled animation, it's not element-styled animation, so, like, it, it'll move an element throughout your entire page, and it'll ignore other elements, so it's just, like, kind of not what you want. So the trick would be, for me at least, um, what I'll do is I will hide this element right here. So we're gonna edit the properties and then we're gonna make it so this is not visible on page load. And it, actually no, what we'll do is we'll group this inside of another group. So, um, well, no, we'll keep it the way it is, but we'll have it collapsed and hidden and not visible on page load. And then what we'll do is just make sure it just stays like that. So now it shouldn't show up at all. All right, so that's how we want it. And what we'll do is we'll take the height and we're gonna animate the height um, of this, this container itself. So we'll give it a fixed height well, we can do fixed height or max height. And let's try doing, let's do, yeah, let's just do fixed height. Um, we'll do a fixed height of zero right now. So it shouldn't even be visible at all. So if I'm doing zero, it should be completely invisible. And the idea. Height, fixed height. Zero. Oh, it's the padding. Yeah. It's the padding. So get rid of the padding. Go ahead. Should be completely invisible. Yep. So there's no height to it at all. Now what we want to do is transition the height. So we'll go ahead and do a height transition on the group. And we'll do, I usually like to do um, like linear um, or ease in, something like that. And we'll make it pretty quick. And then what we're going to do is create another workflow when the condition is true. And this will be every time. So when group A item shown is yes, we will add a pause before action and hide that action pause. And then we're, what we're gonna do is set the state, or I'm sorry, no, we're gonna animate the text element. So I believe that's gonna be group B. Let's go ahead and make sure we label these. Yeah, so the hidden text element, make it simple.
and that's gonna be fade in. And then that should be it. I believe that should be it. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Oh, I didn't set the height. <laughs> I gotta make sure we set the height. So um on group B. Item shown is yes, height. Um let's make it thirty. Um, 40. Let's do 40. And then the text itself, we're going to do this, make the midnight zero. And then we're also going to make sure that the text is always wrapped inside. And then I believe if we do left and right padding, we'll be fine. And uh, we should be good. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. So as you can see, it's a little bit, you know, it looks better, but we still got to kind of add some more to it to make it look a little bit clearer. So what's going on here, I believe, is the text is visible, and then when I hide it, so what we need to do is make it so when it's shown is no every time we just fade out the animation right away. And I believe that's it. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna wanna make sure that the timing is a little bit better. So let's, uh, let's make it 500, see how this looks. And there it is. So now we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the visibility also goes to zero. So I think what's going on is when shown is no, we gotta get rid of the visibility because it should always be visible. And we're getting rid of that. And then I think that's gonna fix it actually. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So what we're gonna wanna do is just make sure that the hidden text is a little bit faster. So let's just, uh, when item is shown is no um, on here and make that faster. We'll just do like 100 milliseconds. And look at that. Much smoother transition and you can basically do this for, for any type of element. It makes your animations look a lot more smooth and I, I think that you could just manipulate a lot more other types of animations this way. I do the same thing with um, sidebars and um, other types of elements as well. I will be doing this with my facts more often, but uh, yeah, this is just how you make your transitions a little bit more smooth. I hope this helps help you guys, and if you guys need any more advice, make sure you check beapolis.com for more guides, plugins, tutorials, and basically just some other information about what we do and how you guys could jump in with our community and help out as well. Take care and have a good rest of the day.